What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bump. Boom! What's up? Episode 436. Today, we're going to go over my new, it's not mine, but my front squat grip that I've been utilizing. Because, you know, this has been my struggle since I hurt my supraspinatus, ruptured it, is my bar placement on my front squat is just not the same as it used to be because I don't have a fucking rotator cuff there. So one of the ways, and we're going to be up close and personal here, I'm going to try to oh, not block the camera, is I've been trying to figure out how, so AG does a really good job of this, so does Danny, which I don't know how Danny fucking does, his arms are so big, but to get a whole hand placement on your front rack, meaning that you could have it, let me go up underneath, you could have it like this, and then when you grab it like that, you can leverage your lats against holding that shoulder position. For some reason, that shit just doesn't work that way for me. Let me see if I can put this over here so we can get a little better, a little better look. So what I've been doing and how my, my old position was, I would go two fingers, but I'm trying to sneak that. Now, keep your, <laughs> keep your brain right on this one. I'm trying to sneak that other finger in there. <laughs> Good thing Danny's not here. I'm gonna try to sneak that other finger up there so I can not get a full hand, but basically get it to where it'll kind of lock it in. And this is one of the questions I get a lot is about front rack position. So we'll get this fucking angle, I think that'll work. So back in the day, I would just go basically two fingers right over from the smooth, load it up, tuck it into my neck, and that would just hold there. But my shoulder just can't stabilize it the same way anymore. So now what I'm trying to do is get those two fingers in a similar spot, but then try to claw that thumb around Sometimes it works good, sometimes it doesn't. To like lock it in into that, almost that whole hand position. So then when I'm in the hole, when I'm coming up, even though my shoulders might be dipping a little bit, the bar's locked more. So this is a question we get a lot about, well, I'm not flexible enough for front squats. That's why I don't do them that way. Get flexible enough to get a couple fingers on the bar so you can do like the Olympic style front squat over top of this one. It's more athletic. I think it helps more core because you're upright. You're, you're asking yourself to move under weight in a flexible manner. Um, we just seen a ton of carryover. So the claw, try the claw front squat grip later.